is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to look at the music capabilities on the T-Mobile G1. So, if I start from home, I can go and search for music, and we get this screen with four big white boxes and green icons on them, and you have to choose which type of media you want to search for, so if we go to albums, you see all our albums are listed. Uh, most of them don't have album art. I synced this through Windows Media Player on the desktop, and it works well. Uh, it shows up as a USB device that you can sync to, but album art is not transferred as it is with Windows Mobile, unless your MP3s or your WMA files have album art embedded already. And you can fix this by using my technique to uh, get album art to display on TouchFlow 3D on the Touch Pro and Touch Diamond. There's some software that you can use to embed images as album art. And then when they sync, they should be fine. So it's kind of like the iPhone. You have to scroll through here like this. However, it's also kind of like Windows Mobile in that we can search. See that? I just type the letters and we get album art that includes those uh, words. Very nice. Easier to find stuff. Same with songs. Not bad. Now one thing that was annoying is if you plug in a USB port for audio, um, you can't charge it and play music at the same time unless you turn off the USB mass storage mode. So it, it doesn't realize that you're charging instead of syncing on the computer. So you have to manually go into the settings and shut off that USB mode in order to listen to music while charging the device. I used the HTC adapter in the car. It's the same HTC port, so w which I've already got for the other HTC devices. So that's really great. And then we have some music playing with the album art showing. Is it playing? There we are. We've got shuffle repeat modes up here. There's our now playing button. And it's really basic MP3 player here. Settings, we can do library, party shuffle, uses ringtone, delete, add to playlist. There you go. Now one thing about this Android is there's no video player uh, included by default, but you can download one and it requires that you manually convert some videos into a proper format and list them on there. It's not a easy sync and go thing like on Windows Mobile where you just set up automatic playlists. So that's it for media.